Hello everyone, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. This is our little corner of the internet where we discuss fountain pens, inks, journals and journaling, pretty much anything and everything that will keep you writing and keep you inspired. I'm coming to you today from my library as I often am. And today I'd like to speak about a very unique and interesting pen. It's fun to review a pen that isn't based on another pen or doesn't have a long history, but is sort of a very inherently modern and interesting pen. So today, without much further ado, let's discuss the Diplomat Aero. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you which pen I'm using today, and that's the Mont Blanc Egyptomania. This is an extraordinary pen, has a soft gold nib, fantastic writer, and it always keeps me inspired. I'm going to do a follow-up video on this soon, so I'll give you more of my thoughts then. As the TikTok pen guy, I get to use a lot of different fountain pens, and one of the standout pens of the last 12 months was the Diplomat Aero. Pen Chalet gave me one to do a promotion over on TikTok. They don't know anything about my YouTube channel, so I just thought I'd share it also with all of you because I've now had a chance to use it even longer and YouTube gives us much more time to get into the details of the pros and the cons and the different interesting aspects of this pen. So let's dive in. I think the first thing that attracts our attention to this pen is its overall design. It was inspired by a Zeppelin and it even has the design cue of a propeller at the top of the cap, which is a nice touch. There are grooves in anodized aluminum that run from each end to its overall generally torpedo shaped body. Now one of the things you guys really need to know about this pen is that it's quite heavy. Now, it's not so heavy that it's unusable, but it is a heftier pen. So you can lighten it up by not posting. Once you remove the cap, you do take off a bit of weight. However, this pen posts very securely, and part of the joy of using this pen is posting it. Now, even though it does have some weight to it, it still balances very well in your hand. And that probably has a lot to do with its elongated torpedo shape. It is also very comfortable. The grip has this nice groove at the end and a bit of a raised ring just before the number six Yovo nib. So your fingers naturally know where to stop and don't cram down on top of the nib, which can happen occasionally with some other pens. Also, the grooves on the body aren't sharp in any way. The machining is very precise and it feels quite nice against your hand. So there's no issues there. One of the greatest features of this pen is how the cap fits so securely to the body and it closes with such a satisfying click. Love that. So this version of the pen is in citrus, which is a yellowy green. It's rather pickle colored. And the trim is anthracite, which is like gunmetal. And I quite like the contrast between the dark gray 
and the yellow green of the body. Now, I like bold pens, weird colored pens. This one is quite exciting. It looks great among my collection. I have too many black and blue and plain colored pens, so I naturally gravitate towards brighter pens now. I must say that it does sort of detract from one of the uses of this pen because for me, this pen is very much a business pen. It's great for your creative workplace or your office or whatever it is that you do. So maybe some of the bolder colors would work in that setting, but you may want to get a more gray black or some more subdued color for that kind of a situation. That's your call. So as you know, one of my obsessions with fountain pens is matching the ink to the pen. And Diplomat did not disappoint. They have a moss green that is a perfect dark, beautiful green that suits this pen perfectly. But of course, there's other brands of ink with other greens that may interest you. So don't limit yourself to just the same brand. Nevertheless, it matches perfectly and having green ink in this green pen is the perfect combination. This pen is made in Germany, so it should be no surprise that it has a Yovo nib. And this is a very nice, very smooth writing Yovo nib. It's not heavy on feedback, but it's a nice balance. You get a little hint of feedback and quite a bit of smoothness. So the nib is a pleasure to write with and I use it all the time. Fantastic for taking notes at a meeting because the cap clicks off easily. So it's one of those rapid fire pens that's great to have with you if you're in a business situation or some other situation that you need to get the cap off quickly to get your thoughts down. So I do enjoy that feature. Now, one of the things that's a little disappointing on this is that the clip makes a bit of noise. It works fine as a clip. I just don't like that every time my thumb hits this thing, it chirps like a little bird or something. I just find it a bit annoying. The pen is very well made, but I should also mention that there's a little chip in the ring of the pen where the cap comes together with the body. Now this is only visible under a loop, but it did surprise me that that made it past their quality control. It doesn't bother me. I end up scratching and denting my pens anyway because I'm fairly hard on them. But this is an aluminum pen, so I guess I didn't expect it to have a little chip. But there it is. You may be asking me, why do I even put a pen under a loop? But it's one of the ways that you can see how a nib is made and all the different features on it. And you can also examine the rest of the pen for serial numbers in the case of something like a Mont Blanc or for little imperfections like the chip that I found. So I find loops very valuable. Plus, I don't have the best eyesight in the world and a loop just really helps me a lot to see details. So I enjoy using this pen. I usually use it in business settings. I often keep my pens in my shirt pocket. I will admit that this is a bit weighty there. It's much better inside of a suit jacket because it does have some heft to it. Nevertheless, it's an impressive business pen. You do have to ask yourself whether or not the $180 or so that it costs is worth it to you for a pen with a Yovo nib when you have something like the Sailor 1911 out there that has a 21 karat gold nib. So you need to weigh that for yourself. Nevertheless, if you can pick one of these up, I'm sure they're on sale at different sites. I think it's a great addition to your collection. Maybe you don't want to pay full retail, but do you want to pay full retail for anything? I would say this pen is probably worth in the $125, $130 range. That puts it in line to other pens that have Yovo nibs in steel and kind of puts you to the only other gold nib at that price range that I can think of is the Pilot E95S, which is actually a great pen but you have to make those choices for yourself. So what do you think of the Diplomat Arrow? Do you have any experience with it? 
If you have, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Also, if you could please like, comment, and share this video with somebody else that you think would enjoy this content. I would appreciate it. And most of all, if you could subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel and reach as many people as I can. Thanks. So I release a new video each Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time. So I will see you next week with another topic to keep you inspired and to keep you writing. So until then, take care and I'll see you further up the road.